All right, let's uh, let's get started here. Uh, I'm going to choose our pattern. I choose a little simple pattern um, just to, for this demo. Um, I just pulled one off the internet. I'm going to just recreate this um, real quick. I don't really like some of the proportions and the it's a little lopsided. Um, um, I've got an eye that uh, an OCD eye, I guess, if you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to recreate this in Photoshop. That's the main program that I use to design everything in. Um, right now I'm going to make this palette uh, uh, I'm going to resize it to a 14 inch design. Um, so that's all I'm doing here. Um, Photoshop's a pretty powerful program. That's all that I use to design with. Um, I don't do old school hand drawn templates. Um, if I do it'll be a sketch that I scan in and I convert to uh, my lines with uh, Photoshop. Um, and you also don't have to spend a lot of money on a, on a program. Um, Photoshop is probably one of the most powerful ones out there. Um, and I, I'm on a monthly subscription. It's only like 10 bucks. Uh, 10 bucks a month. Um, it, there's a lot to learn in it. It'll take you some time. I've, I've had about 10 years. Well, actually a lot longer than that, but um, using it. Um, so it's really great for this type of work. Um, you can really use it for anything, photo editing. But right here you see I'm just starting to define some of my shapes, the ovals. There are other uh, programs out there um, that will work. I don't have any experience with them so I couldn't answer any questions about them. Um, and I know that the focus is, is on the Cricut machine but I thought you might like to see um, my process of, of how I start to finish a, uh, a design. The downside that people may not have thought about when they're asking about this using a Cricut machine, um, you're going to have to deal with digital images uh, um, and some kind of digital imaging software. Um, I don't know the limits of Cricut's um, tools because um, I do all my designs here um, so um, I really can't I'm sorry I'm not going to be able to answer um, all the questions that are probably going to arise up from um, these uh, creating a digital template that's just something you'll have to research um, and there's tons of available research on on the internet for graphics programs and tutorials on uh, YouTube that's where I'd, I've done most of my learning is on, on YouTube. Alright, so I'm just going to let uh, fast forward through this so you can see the start to finish process and um, after this is complete we'll get to the Cricut portion of it. Thanks.
Okay, here we are with our completed pattern. Um, as you can see, it looks a little more nice around the shape, a little, uh, um, to me, a little more pleasing to the eye. Um, I can show you a comparison um, uh, before, after. I just think it's got a much nicer shape. Um, I think it'll look nice at, uh, it's about 14 inches by uh, eight and a half, nine and a half. All right, so now what we're gonna do we have our, our, our completed design. What we need to do is um, break all those pieces apart um, for either the stencil or what we're going to um, talk about first is the uh, vinyl sticker. <clears throat> so um, we'll kind of go fast forward through this after I show a couple of uh, examples of how I transfer it. Um, this is actually not what the video is about but I thought you guys might like to see uh, my process and I'm gonna put us on mute now the the what I'm gonna put it on the cricket mats um, the cutting mats are 12 inches by 12 inches um, so that's what I'm going to create um, for the um, to move all to all the uh, parts of this uh, template onto so let's create a new temp, a uh, new palette. And you can fill it in with white if you want to look at it. It's easier to see sometimes. But we're going to end up making that background transparent. We make it into a, a Cricut file. So um, there we go. And the reason I'm um, breaking this apart is because this design is actually bigger. Um, if this was within the 12 by 12 inch by 12 inch uh, mat, I would just put this all on there. Um, but it's a little longer than the mat is, um, and you'll see what what I mean when I talk about the mat later. Um, so I'm going to kind of pull these pieces off uh, section by section, flower by flower, um, and kind of rearrange them on that other um, on, on here to best fit to get as much as I can within that 12 inch space. Um, you can even rotate this stuff around, but uh, not necessary. Okay, so um, we're, we're cutting to this real quick. Uh, for some reason, there was a malfunction on my last, uh, um, at the tail end of that, and I lost everything. So uh, basically, once you get your um, uh, templates here set, um, ready to save, 
uh, you'll save it as a PNG that will preserve that uh, clear um, transparent background uh, so you just get all these options PNG uh, and save and now we will uh, move on over to the Cricut uh, machine here we go now that we have our um, shapes ready to go uh, we will open up Cricut um, something I did find out um, while using this new version of Cricut um, I don't know why they've included this but even though your mat is 12 inches by 12 inches you cannot put a design on there that's greater than 11 and a half inches uh, wide um, um, they have longer mats 23 24 inch mats I think um, so length isn't a problem it's just the width so um, so let's go ahead and get into this um, you will have to go to Cricut um, if you haven't uh, been there since uh, January they have uh, they no longer support the online um, design space and you have to download the app um, and put it on your computer it's a little slower it's a little buggy a buggy still but uh, um, they're still in the beta uh, works for it so let's start a new project and here's your design space uh, we're going to upload an image um, these two here were failures um, they uh, uh, that's how I discovered the the 11.5 inch uh, um, limitation it wasn't like that before um, here are some of the other um, previous projects I did um, all these right here are for my Pennywise clown um, I like to break up my templates and stickers and stuff by part of the painting and the glass so here you have um, the face the face again the hair a lot of the hair there was a lot of hair uh, and there's a uh, clown suit um, I was really glad that Cricut could uh, cut these out for me because that would have been a cutting nightmare that's my least favorite thing of uh, stained glass is having to uh, get the scissors out and cut the templates out cut the little patterns out um, but I digress so let's uh, let's upload the image that we did we're gonna browse our computer for it and there it is um, I changed how much I put on the page because I had that 11.5 inch limitation on the width so um, you can see with that PNG that we saved um, makes it perfect for the cutting file so it's there's no, the background is gone um, so let's uh, it's a simple uh, type of image uh, go down here and click continue um, you can make changes and stuff on here um, I've never used this because I already have to get everything ready in my uh, um, Adobe Photoshop so we'll just hit continue and then ask you two different ways you want to do it. Um, I always choose to save as a cut image. That's all I'm going to be doing. Um, there is a thing on the save as a print then cut that you can do um, um, when you get to the stencils. I've never done it, but you can have lettering or numbering out here next to each cut so it corresponds with the one on your design template. Um, so then you can print it and then go back and cut it. So I'm just going to choose the save as a cut image. And this by no means is the only way to do this. This is how I do it. I'm sure there's going to people have their own ways of doing things that, that can add, uh, add to this. Uh, um, they'll help us all. So after I've uploaded it, I'm going to cl uh, click on it and I'm going to insert the image onto my design space. When it drops it into your design space, it doesn't do it by the actual size of the document. It does it by the... Uh, print resolution um, so you're gonna have to go up here to your size and change the size of that document um, it was 11.12 uh, make sure your proportion lock is on and just hit enter and you'll see it'll um, put it to the right size I always try and keep it at about half an inch away from the edge uh, so that'll be good and this is that's it that's really all you have to do you come up here to the upper right you're gonna hit make it 
I'm just going to kind of show you an example of what your mat looks like um, and uh, how it's going to cut it, representation of it, 12 by 12. Uh, as you can see, they uh, sell some larger mats. So um, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click continue. I'm just going to wait for the machine uh, to connect to the machine. And once it does, there's a little power button on your uh, Cricut machine. Um, I'm sorry, not power button, a, uh, a, um, a load mat screen. You're going to load the mat, and then once it's loaded, it will grab, uh, grab your mat. Okay, we have moved to my workshop. Um, when you go to do the final print on this, um, there's two different kind of mats that I use. There's a um, standard grip which is the green. Um, that's got a pretty firm grip to it. Um, the one I use with the stencils and stickering comes off easier is the blue light grip. Um, what it means is these these boards have a tackiness to them um, that holds your um, material in place as the Cricut cuts it. Um, so let's go ahead and load up the vinyl stickering on my um, light grip board. Now also that they come with this on them, I always save that. That way you keep your, your uh, uh, mat clean. At, at, at any rate, you'll extend the life of it. So this is what the roll of uh, vinyl Stickering looks like. Um, it's got a clear back into it and it's just gray. Um, I'm going to get on my cutting board. I'm going to cut out a 12 inch um, section. And what you're going to want to do is you're just going to put it right inside that uh, it's a little curly. It's the only kind of downside of some of these rolls. They, they put them in rolls. Take some and I go through and just rub it in real good. Why does it come up? Didn't get that on the degrees, but I got it within the cutting area, so. So we're going to make this. You'll see this light start to blink um, as I hit the uh, make it. It connects to my... Uh, um, this light here tells you excuse me, that you're to load your mat. Um, you want to get it under the little channels and just push them straight up against the wheels so they're evenly. And just hit that and that will get you loaded. And now it's ready to, um, your Cricut light is going to print, or it's going to blink. Um, just click that, and we'll start doing those cuts. I never figured out how it decides where it wants to start. It starts wherever it wants to. It is important to get your, I, I didn't have it on there, but I moved it over there. Put your setting on vinyl. I, sometimes I forget to do that. Um, it's not going to damage anything. It just might cut all the way through your um, uh, stencil. Uh, you can see how deep those were. When I switched to vinyl, how much, how much finer they are. And I'll show you when I pull this out real quick. It really does quick work of these, uh, of the, of the uh, cutting these out.
All right, once you get your blinking um, load like uh, blinking again, click it and it's going to spit it out. Uh, and there you go. Um, as you can see, those cut out completely through because I had it on the wrong setting. Um, but then you can see how nice, um, if you can see it, it's a little hard to see. I'm going to move this camera to uh, uh, my workbench as I apply this to the glass so you can see a little, a little better. Okay, how are we doing? So now we have our finals cut. You can see all the lines there. Um, I'm just going to put the, uh, I'm just putting a scrap piece of glass And the same thing you want to remember is the pattern of your glass. You're going to put these on however you decided um, during your design. So you just peel it off. And Sometimes you will need Now it looks like this isn't it actually vinyl after all, it's a, uh, a uh, little bit of sticker paper. It'll still serve the same purpose. So, say we want the direction of the glass to go here and we want that to match there. That's where we'll put it. I didn't show this beforehand, but you might want to make sure your glass is clean so this will stick a lot better. Um, and that's really it. Um, once you uh, got it on there and you're ready to start cutting, one of the kind of nice things about using this is you have a line that you can kind of push up against while you're cutting. And, um, another nice thing about this is <clears throat> it won't come off very easily on when you're grinding. Anyone who's glued patterns on or uh, used markers knows that the water will just wash that stuff away. Um, you can use less water, um, but it's still, it's still gonna happen. Uh, so this is, um, will help you grind closer to a, your perfect shape um, instead of trusting on a line that's washed away. Um, the other thing that I use the, the Cricut machine for, uh, I'll show you, these are just poster board that I did the same process with um, and put them uh, through the Cricut machine to cut them um, and it works just like it sounds, a stencil. So you find where you want it to be at, you get whatever sharp marker you're going to use to sharp with. Um, you hold it down and you just just like that and you got a perfect um, transfer on there use a marker when I do stuff like this I use um, that stay wax or Vaseline um, lip balm whatever you want to get it to stay on there um, but that's what I use these uh, templates for um, I use this solely for my Pennywise clown just because there are so many small pieces. I mean you can see how small that that piece is right there. It's pretty tiny. Um, this saved me a lot of time of cutting. Um, it was also very easy on just um, putting it down on the glass really quickly instead of having to... Um, this type of a glass would be too, too uh, opaque for me to use my light board, um, which I do a lot of that too. Um, I lay my glass on the pattern and cut it. Um, but yeah, the Cricut machine is great.